Hey everybody, I'm Michelle Roy of Dragonfly Wellness, and this is the third installment in a multi-part series on the eight limbs of yoga. So today we are talking about the third limb, which is asana. Asana means seat. It refers to finding a posture that is comfortable and easy to be in. Now, originally asana referred to seat as in sitting for meditation. Um, and then over time, it's been applied to the physical practice, Hatha yoga, which is the, the yoga that we know here in the West, the one that is all about poses and movement and all of that. But all of that is designed to prepare the body for sitting, to allow us to sit well and allow us to sit well comfortably. So here in the West, we tend to kind of prize the asana limb uh, quite a bit. It's, uh, I, I say this all the time, yoga is not a workout. It is not an exercise program. That's not what yoga is. I cannot say that enough. It chaps me so much when people refer to yoga as a workout. It's not a workout. Yes, there are many wonderful physical things that go along with a yoga practice. You develop flexibility, you develop strength, you, um, learn to move more gracefully. Perhaps we're more mindful about our movements and the way we arrange the body if we're doing, say, alignment-based yoga or something like that. However, that is not the point. The point is to prepare the body for sitting. So if you're doing all of that, you know, you're really strong in your asana practice and you're going regularly to classes or doing it at home, that's great. But if you don't take it a step further and sit, and practice meditation and breathing practice, which we're gonna to get to next week, then you're missing the whole point, okay? Asana is to prepare the body for sitting. Now, the other way that we apply the wisdom of the limbs, right? We, there's also always um, an abstract portion of this. And so that the abstract application of asana is referring to any seat that you find yourself in. So your day job, that is the asana of your profession, right? If you're a parent, that is your asana. You are being in the seat of being a parent, right? If you are a healer of some kind, you take that seat. This is uh, sort of akin to all the different hats that we wear, right? So sometimes I have on my mom hat, and sometimes I have on my girlfriend hat, and sometimes I have on my teacher hat, and I wear lots of different hats. Those are all different seats, different poses that we find ourselves in in life, right? And can we be in those poses comfortably and easily? And when you find that you're not comfortable in those various poses, that's an opportunity to make changes, right? But we only reach that level of awareness if we're applying the other aspects, the other limbs to our practice, not just going for the physical portion, right? So let your poses not only happen on the mat, but also off the mat. And ask yourself, am I comfortable in this asana? And if you're not, just like we do in a physical pose, perhaps we bring in support, props things to support our practice. That's when we reach out to the proverbial village and say, help me raise my child, help me get to this appointment on time. That's part of recognizing that point of comfort in the asana, in your whatever pose you find yourself in, right? So there's your inspiration today, everybody. Pause and consider what seat you find yourself in and can we be mindful about that? And next time you step onto your mat, can you recognize that that practice, that physical practice of being on your mat is serving you in a much higher capacity off the mat? All right, everybody. I will see you again next week with limb number four. Thanks for tuning in. Namaste.